You all, I have to move this first. Let's create the stencil. I think this is gonna be cute if I could get this to come out right. So let's see. I need this. I need this at my back door ASAP because, like I said, this is the Midwest and we are getting both uh, rain and snow. Actually, some days it's snowing and some days it's raining and some days we're getting both, you know, sleep. So I figured, all right, well, we're in November, headed to Thanksgiving, and we basically about done with November after, you know, after Thanksgiving, then we're going to go right into December and Christmas. So I figured this would be uh, suitable for, you know, this season. And that way, like I said, I could have it up the entire winter without having to switch or create another world, you know, with... Um, you know, if I did two different ideas, like the pumpkin idea, then I would have to switch out and create another one for Christmas and have like ornaments or Christmas trees on the welcome mat. But I'm killing all that. And okay, two killing two birds with one stone. I'm making one winter backdoor mat this season and that's it. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pull this one out. Hang tight. All right, I'm back. So here is the uh, snowflake. You know, when I pulled it off, when they say jail, they are correct. It's really jail-like. I'm like, ooh, I need you to be somewhat stable. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. I'm just taking a stab at this, you all. I'm trying to get, get like, you know. I can't find a snowflake utensil. And I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. I'm running out of time because the weather out here, like I said, in the Midwest, it's really kicking up with the rain and snow. So I'm trying to go ahead and get this done. I don't have time to keep trying to, um, you know, wait. I don't know how this is about to go, y'all. I may have to stretch Stretch out. That's too close up in there. Mm hmm Okay, God. I'm going to do this like this. Ooh, I got to really hold this down. Okay, yeah. I'm learning a valuable lesson. You, you got to hold it as you go. And make, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you trace the light. But you got to hold that gel. Because this is not the best plan. I'm already irritated with myself. But I'm just trying to hurry up and see what I could do from this. All right, I'll be back after I trace this. All right, I'm back. So I've traced the snowflake. And as you all can see, it's juicy. <laughs> I, I, you know, I didn't know um, window, what's, whatever this is called, the uh, jail clean, window jail clean. It, maybe it's a substance on here. Yeah, when I tell y'all this is jelly. See, I fell in love with the these snowflakes, you all. I really did. And, you know, like the shape and size of them. And then I got tired. I'm like, I'm not about to keep going from store to store or taking a long time at one store trying to find a snowflake stencil when I could just make it. Okay. So, that, so that's what I am doing here. So I'm going to cut cut this out and I'll be back okay I'll jump back in real quick so you all can understand how I'm cutting okay you see all that that's hanging you need all of that do not cut that off all right I'm gonna finish this last little side because I'm okay I'm almost done but I thought about you all I gotta cut these last two here and I'll be right back so I have the shape, you know, the desired snowflake shape. So I'm just taping this crease because I don't need anything moving when I start working. 
with his this masking tape. All right. Okay, you all see that? Ta-da! Right, the perfect snowflake stencil. That's that is what I want. That is what I was going for. Okay, you all. And that, okay, that is why I bought these little stupid gel things. Now, I do not recommend you all do what I did unless you get desperate. You know, if you fall in love with this shape, then you're gonna. Okay, like I said a few minutes ago, while I was tracing. What you're going to have to do, so if you do, <laughs> so if you choose to do this DIY the way that I showed you with this, this here, okay, as you are tracing, all right, because this is very flimsy, flexy, right, as you are tracing, you have to hold, you see where this finger is, so when you get, when you got your pencil, you got to, okay, and then hold the next one. And then tra tra make sure you trace slow. This you cannot, don't, you can't do this fast. All right, back to the. So I got my stencil. Yay! Now I thought I was gonna go ahead and um, trace out a small, the smaller size, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm satisfied with this this size here. And I'm ready to lay this mat down. I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, but. First thing first, I'm going to remember earlier when I told you I have, this is two mats from the Dollar Tree, okay, ladies and gentlemen? So what I am doing, uh, being that I am a stickler, I like things to be looking nice, feeling nice, and sturdy, right? Okay, this welcome is too thin for me. So that's why I grab the second mat and what I'm gonna do is just hot glue these two together so yeah that's the hack for you all and these these two match up very I don't have to cut or anything it's, it's, it, it matches so I already have my hot glue so I'm gonna just Hold on, guys. I gotta grab, let me grab an extension cord. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I needed the extension cord so I could, you know, go ahead. So I'm gonna just. Come on, man. I had this on for a while. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna just do like circle areas because uh yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna use too much hot glue. This is already moving down. Glue. That's, see, that's why I'm not about to, mm -mm. I'm not about to use a lot. It's just a, you know, a mat. Just let it drop on there. Y'all see how I'm doing this? I'm going to begin, help me Lord, I'm trying to figure this out. I've never done this before you all. Hold on. I'm going to use some fix all too, y'all, and I'm going to get in.
So, okay, y'all, I'm just taking this one side at a time because I got to at least go ahead and get it. Starting, you know, drying. I'm just looking at it hang on everybody uh-huh like i said it's perfect so um, you want to go ahead because that hot glue is no joke and i do recommend you all to use um both the hot glue and fix all or e6000 i'm putting my mask on because that fix out is strong when I'm done, I'm going to place like some books or, you know, on top of it. All right, I'm going to keep going. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I'm like, now I need them to see what I'm doing. The camera was too, too on, you know, too up on the thing. As you can see, I'm just doing three sections of the glue. Hot room. So you know the the far uh, right side, my right probably you all's is left, then middle, then the far uh, left. So this is uh, my right and my left. So okay, so I'm just working it. As you all can see, I'm moving real smart. I'm putting the fix out in between, you know, the hot glue gun areas. Like with that hot glue, you gotta go ahead and bust that move. It dries, the hot glue dries fast. Go back on my hand. That's what I'm talking about. It. Yes, yeah, so I strongly and highly rec recommend that you use both Fix All and uh, the hot glue, or you know, or uh, E6000 and the hot glue. And it's okay. You can even get this done without the hot glue gun. If you just have the fix all only, that's cool. See, that's what this is for.
before I uh, get this mat. Now both the hot glue and fix out gets real stringy. Get the move the strings. I'm wondering, could I like, could I also, if I wanted to? Now it's on there now. See, I got it on there real good now. Cause I realized I had to put some more, but it's see, it's on there, so that's good. But yeah, I was saying I was wondering if I could have uh, on the back, you all, use some staples. You know, you all could try that as well. Right along with the glue, you know. Boy, this glue gun is busting today. It's really melting. I got to get some more sticks. I was just at the store the other day. And I, I, I grabbed these two days ago. I'm so glad I did it. See, I knew I wanted to do this. So. Now, I found my hot glue gun at Walmart. And Walmart also has the uh, glue sticks. But ladies and gents, I also discovered that the Dollar Tree carries them. The Crafter Square. And you could save, you know, a dollar or two if you just get these sticks from the Dollar Tree. All right, so we're moving on to the next section. That's all. Just take it one section at a time, and you will be you will be fine. Like this is the best thing I could come up with. Just do like you know, circular area. Like I said, with this, you want to move fast. Like, it was really making this thing up today. I have that in a pan. I always keep my hot glue gun sitting on the pan. Like Okay, I went over to this this other table and you and, and pressed, you know, use this block to press down on here. You know, press that glue down. Okay. Okay. 
I have a mask on because whoo, the fix off is too strong for me. Yep, it's on there. Shout out to my intuition and my guides for helping me to remember to grab this as well because I forgot to, you know, let you all know about the second glue that you would need. And speaking of which, let me grab. I think that's, that's it. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Let me just turn this way I need it. Cause I'm about at the home stretch. Added another stick. really just push it and it's gonna come out anyway just push that stick I got a little bit of fix all left. I'm trying to save it for my, my foreigner. I'm trying to get this old Jew to ooze out. Sorry, y'all. Uh, you know, my desk, I'm like, uh-uh, just a little bit of it. Thank God it wasn't a lot. This block of you. This block is a different DIY. I haven't even got to it yet. I'll get to it. Yeah, I'm trying to say that last little bit of fix time for the corners. But that's it. Man. I done went through, I think like this the fourth stick that I had to add, because I'm gonna run through this one. Lord. Watch those blue strings, ladies and gents. Okay. Thank you. 
this trying to challenge me. I don't know. I have to, I'm moving fast. Because y'all, this stuff is drying fast. Like, it's no joke. No game. Big song right there, right there, right there. I did good, like I barely made it in the name of Jesus. With this project, as far as the glue is concerned. Okay. Everybody bear with me. It's a method to my madness. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to have that glue press smoothed out and press it down on here. Alright. Now. Very good. Swear I used the last of this fix off. Yes, you squeeze the corners. You check, check your, you know, check your work. I see why they be having that glue thing. The DIYs be having that glue. I forgot the name of it. The glue squeezer outer. Mm -mm. All right, well. One more. I got to get that corner right. I'm just trying, trying to play with the kids. Yeah, Depending on when this paint dry, I'm going to lay it down to, hopefully to lay down tonight or tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get that glue. That's why I use that. Block. Excuse me, you all. See that? It's sturdy. You see how much more, you know, thicker it is? And those two glues got it. You see how, you know, close that is? That's adhered very well. Yes, I love it. I'll be right back. I got to wash my hands. All right, I'm back. I'm very satisfied. 
with how the two mats adhered to one another. So I was uh, cleaning the glue off my hands and I couldn't get it off. So if you all see glue on my hands, please forgive me, but I want to move on. So now it's time for the snowflake, right? Remember the, the stencil I made? So you all, hold on, let me turn it so I can see. I'm trying to see, do I want, like how I want it? Do I want to do like in the corners? You know, one, two, three, four, or like scattered. I don't know you all. Well, since this is my first time doing this, I'm gonna just do it in the four corners. All right, so let's make it, let's simplify this thing for now. Now I'm gonna take this, so I'm gonna, I gotta turn it for my work purposes, okay? Make sure you had a slit taped real good. Now, what I'm going to do, okay, now the best method, ladies and gentlemen, is I was supposed to do this on contact paper, but I, I can't find my contact paper. So, I'm like, okay, well... <laughs> It's here. I, I I put it up somewhere, you all. Because it will make it easier. So that's the big trick right there, you all. When you um are making a, a, a stencil for a mat, you want to trace your desired shape, you know, or art out on contact paper. So this is what I'm doing since I don't have contact. Like I said, I have it. I just I don't know where I did with it. I haven't used that. I, it's a roll here. I, it's a little left somewhere. And I forgot where I put it. I pray I didn't throw it away, but I don't know. But anyway, if you don't have contact paper, just do what I'm doing. Because you want to get this stable on the mat. Because you have to work, you know, with the paint. So you want it sliding. So just use some masking tape. And remember, this is the brown paper grocery bag. And you just put some rolls on there. Or if you have double sized sticking tape, you know. But I don't want to waste. I love my double sized sticking tape, so I'm using this. I don't want to waste that. So, you know, this is a hack. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. All of this is like a DIY experiment. Okay, ladies and gents. So, we're going to learn together if this is a good plan or not. Just praying it don't bleed. Get it how you want it. If you, you know, if you, you know, at an angle, straight, whatever. But I think this is. I'm looking at it. Oh, okay. No, uh, whatever. Shit. <laughs> All right. So you see how I have. Yeah, that worked good. The tape up underneath. Can you see that? That's how you want it. Let me make. Okay, let's make sure. Okay. Because, ma'am, it needs to be in the corner, ma'am. 
<laughs> I'm like, what is this? What, what am I doing? I guess, I mean, damn, I got it over as close as I can get it. This is all right. You might want to measure it out, y'all. You know, uh, like get a tape measure and measure the stencil out from the end of the corner to the end of the stencil. I could do that. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing that. I'm excited to see how this is going to come out. Uh, I'm ready to go. I mean, this is just at my back door anyway, so whatever. It's going down on that back, at the back, whether this come out cute or ugly. I really don't care. My main focus, you all, as long as I get this double, like, that's the main focus. I'm just throwing the extra art on just for the fun of it. Like I said, I'm from the Midwest, and we are already getting snow and rain. And I threw out my back, the old mat. For my back door, I threw that out uh, two days ago. I'm like, ooh, I got to get on it with this mat. But I don't have an extra one. So you, you study what I'm doing, you, you should be all right. You want that adhered to the mat. And I just squeeze this. Uh, this is Crafter Square white paint from the Dollar Tree. And I just squeeze a little bit of it on a paper plate, as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to use a wedge. A lot of people that have been working on these customized mats have been using sponges. I mean, or you can use a, a paintbrush as well. But I'm going to try this and make this makeup wedge. Hold on, y'all. Oh, no, that might not. I can't get that, so uh, all right. I'll fix it afterwards. That's what I could do. If that little part don't come out right, I could fix it after I peel that off. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Now, this is a white, okay, a white acrylic paint. I'm not doing nothing too jazzy because, yeah, okay. Whatever you do, it, it needs to stand out with the, right, you all? You know, the words that's already on. I said if this come out crazy, I was going to, uh, I should have just used my white spray paint. That's what I should have did. Hmm. I got that in the back. I'm thinking you all. Because I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, this is the best option. Okay, I'm going to get my spray paint. Okay, that's how that looks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spray paint off camera. Cause I can't do it here, you all. This is not that space for me to be spray painting in this room. So I'll be right back. Okay, I tried spray painting. <laughs> you know. I should have covered the sides. I tried to use my hand as a guard. <laughs> so, you all, I am tearing up. Woo! So, now, this is the spray paint I use. 
And what KB said, just use the sponge and you can get off the accent. Anyway, this is what I used. Rust-Oleum. It's a paint plus primer, but that's the only white spray paint that I have. This might not look right, y'all. I don't know. Like, it don't got to be perfect. As long as it's looking like something. Okay, there we go. I mean, that's cool enough for me. I'm just going to go in. I actually like that shape. No, I might just do one. I'm going in with the acrylic. <laughs> See, it's hard to get when you use when you using spray uh, paint. So what I'm trying to say is, okay, you know, like the grooves in between the snowflake. It's hard to get that look. Maybe I should have used a paintbrush. I don't know, you all. I'm I'm just experimenting. But I still like this shape too. It still looks snow. It's like it just looks like a full snowflake to me. Like I'm, I'm good. It could be filled then. don't have to be perfect. I'm trying here, ladies and gents. <laughs> oh, this... I mean, when I tell you this is a new challenge. I see why that one lady just did circles. <laughs> yeah, I think I might stop right there. <laughs> Yo, Jesus. Woo! Child. Mm -mm. <laughs> everybody don't everybody don't laugh at me. This is I'm trying. This ain't the best, but mm -mm. talking about this one. Hold on. I'm trying to get that extra off. I don't know y'all that might not be coming off like I said I, you know, I really don't care <laughs> I'm just ready to lay down a rug back there <sighs> this is called the DIY fail But, you know, like I said, it still looks snowflakey to me. Like, I'm going to pull it out the... Pull it out the paintbrush. What it is? What's up? 
It's like now I just want to be like a messy kid with this now and just act a fool. You are kind of crazy still. Because it ain't going the way I want it to go. Like I said, it's okay, but I see why people use the cricket. I'm going to just try to get it. Y'all see what I'm doing. I'm trying to make the corners a little bit more prominent. Right on back. This is day two. Just so you all will be informed. I couldn't leave you all hanging with that rat tacky gel clean snowflake. Now, I love this snowflake. It is so cute, right? But it is not working for my, my welcome mat here. Okay, remember I had that up? But check this out. I found something else. Ladies, you all watch this. Now, I'm just experimenting. We're going to see how this works out. Because I, I don't know. So... I went to the Dollar General. Hang on. Put that down. Okay. I went to the Dollar General to exchange something. And uh, I didn't go in for this purpose. I ran into this. Let me show you what I did. So I ran into this knickknack. It was, okay, it was stapled. Okay, this, you know, some type of holiday knick-knack ornament. Now, I saw it. I walked past, you know, I saw it or whatever. And then I was like, okay, well, hmm. You know, I, so I'm thinking. Now, remember I told you earlier, as far as this welcome mat, I wasn't quite sure of how I wanted to do this. So, you all are getting uh, my ideas, you know, fresh off the dome, my trial and errors, fails and mistakes right off the dome, right? So I saw this at the Dollar General and it struck my attention. So, but I didn't like go straight to it as soon as I saw it. I went looking elsewhere and then I was thinking like, hmm, let me go back to this and let's see. All right, so let me, ladies, pay attention. So this was... It's some type of flexi metal material. That's what this snowflake is. Very pretty. It's a glittery white snowflake. I'm not sure if you all can see it. I'm trying here, right? So this is how they had it on here. I'm explaining this just in case somebody wants to do this. All right. So is this, okay, small little hanging piece, right? I, I took it all off. It was attached to the back of this thing, bent like this, right? And this part, the bent part, was stapled onto the red star, right? So as you can see, I took it off. So let me tell you what I did. So here's the staple that was on there. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see. Let me try to. I'm showing all of this for a reason. Okay, okay there we go. Just in case somebody wants to do this. So you have to work. Uh, work this off of here. But I would advise you to get this. So it's going to be. It's going to be like this attached to this like up under the staple stapled down right and you just move this because it's flexible so you're gonna move it to the side and you're just gonna like get a stapler remover and just start working it and be careful and just lift up it'll come out see then you're gonna start working this piece off 
all right so you just you know work it be careful because this whatever this metal is it's some type of flexi metal this is this is bendable all right you know now i fell in love with this and so i went okay um yeah i'm gonna all right so you guys can see it a little better like i'm gonna go ahead and mess with this snowflake white for my doormat now earlier <laughs> so remember i told you all this is day two i'm just attaching this portion of the video to the rest of the video that i already did when i was uh messing around with this uh time food this Okay, you guys, I just saw this and it was just so cute. You know, window gel cleans. And then I had a vision for my my doormat. And remember I told you, I'm just winging this. I've never done this before. So, just, you know, I didn't sit down and plan this out. I'm not sure of how this is supposed to adhere to this type of you know, material, this rug, but I will say this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to use this glue gun. <laughs> and then after that, if that don't work, I'm stapling it and I'm done. So I need to go ahead and finish this because I have other content that I need to get to. So let's see. So, so the vision is this. Now I'm gonna turn this camera. Okay, so you guys can see. All right, so I'm back. I wanted to turn this horizontally. So here's the vision. You all, this piece is so stinking freaking cute. Do you all see that? That is all I want on this mat. This cute, just one little cute snowflake. And I swear it just seemed like I have been having a time with this thing. You know, trying to get the idea of it all together. And you all want to know what I noticed? That shape that I initially painted on here was the same shape as this. <laughs> And now, so I saw the vision. You see how the Lord got my back, okay, with this project. So I'm like, hmm, perfect, right? So let's see. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. That way you all can get this DIY work. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. Drum roll. Let's see if this hot glue gun is going to do the trick. Like I say, if not, I'm stapling it. But at least it's way better than the gel clean. That's why earlier I told everybody, do not do this. You know, do not attach the gel clean to your rug. I was just, like I said, it was temporary. It was just an idea that grabbed my attention while I was working. I, okay, I did. It wasn't pre-planned. Now let me see this. Why? Wow. You know the the paint I used did the trick. I mixed that uh, Rust-Oleum sp spray paint with a regular crafter square acrylic to get this, you know, painted on here, this outer shape. So let's see, I might have to stand up. Hold on so I can see what I'm doing. Let me get it, because once it's on here, it should just be on here. Let's see. Go in the center a little bit.
I pray these things and hold it. I showed my son this rug and he liked it. And I was talking to him yesterday about me trying to get this content done and how I kept failing over and over. You all earlier, and I mentioned it, you all, when I was trying to get this gel cling in this little corner, oh my God. Like what, so whatever the material is, so whatever this is, some soft rubber, you cannot adhere this type of material to this rug with this, especially with this paint. You cannot adhere it on here with a hot glue gun or Mod Podge or super glue. And then I was moving ahead too. You are moving a little bit too ahead because, hold on, let me look at this. Because um, I was excited. <laughs> let me see, did it get it? Oh yeah, it got it. Let's see how. Now see, that's cute, yes. I am happy. And that actually did the trick, ladies and gentlemen. That one little dot that I put on here did the trick. Yes, you are. Okay. See, I, I'm experimenting with this. It's on here. See that? It is. Look. Kind of shake it. Shake it, shake it. It's not coming off. It is on here. Yay! Thank you, Lord, for helping me to figure that out. I love it. Now, I just came up with something else. I hope I don't mess it up, Lord. <laughs> I ain't trying to do the most, but... I'm going to try to paint the center of the snowflake. Just put a red dot. Let's see. So it could kind of go with the red in those loops. But it looks fine as is. But I just, you know, I'm just playing around. I'm just experimenting. It ain't going to hurt to try. You know, it's like... You have to try things out to see if you like it or not. There's no harm in trying. And at this point in the game, if you pull this stunt, just remember, less is more. I'm not even, I'm just going to use this in this cap. Let's let's see what happens, you all. So I have a small crank brush here. You just want to use like that, that little higher angle. I got this on the cardboard just in case you know glue get it everywhere, or just in case. Paint gets everywhere. Let's see. I love figuring this stuff out. It's so much fun. I'm like, Okay, I see why the ladies do this. Now, I have a little small dot. Let's see if cause that might be just good enough right there. I don't want to do the most. Like I said, in this case, less is more. 
Oh, yeah, that's cute. That little red dot. Yeah, that did it. Move this right quick. Okay, everybody. You see that? Here, let me lift this up and, and look at this really good for myself. Let me see. All right, so you all see that? That that one little extra detail really gives it, you know, it makes it cute. It's somehow small little details really set a project off in the right direction. I'm just going to put a little more paint in that dot, and then I'm done. I am so glad I figured this out. I'm so glad the Lord led me to go to the Dollar Tree. I mean, the, what's the uh, the uh, Dollar General? Excuse me, you all. Dollar General, not the Dollar Tree. And as you all can see, I'm using a very small amount of paint. I'm just okay. Like I said, I'm just using the top. I'm giving out all my tips just in case somebody really likes this and wants to do it, and you just get a little out of that top. And making this this his small, you know, stuff. You know, it gives me like a holiday berry. You know, that would be on like a mistletoe or garland. So, like I said earlier, the goal of me making this mat is to have a. I needed a back door doormat. And I wasn't trying to spend a lot of money. We are in and out of that back door a lot. And, um, I, you know, I got inspired. It just hit me, though, out of the blue. I'm like, okay, if I need a back door, doormat, I'm like, they should have those at Dollar Tree. You know, I didn't even, um. Uh, and at that point when I was thinking, I, I hadn't even looked at any of the YouTube videos that were up, you know, for how to make or customize the Dollar Tree doormat. I haven't, you know, at that time when I was coming up with the idea to uh, create a welcome mat or customize a welcome mat. From the Dollar Tree, I didn't even know YouTube videos were up. I hadn't looked yet, so it just hit my spirit, and I knew that I needed something. That is very cute, you all. This Now, I'm very satisfied, and this project is going exactly the way I needed it to. And that's all I wanted to do, you all. Now, if I wanted to, like... Uh, jazz it up but see this is this is cute as is i love this remember when i said less is more i love this one little snowflake accent but if i wanted to jazz it up and say if i i could have found uh say for example if i found this snowflake i probably wouldn't have even painted that okay all right and then now that i see the uh the high glue gun is uh working for this i could have did three more you know one in this corner and two down below yes this is very cute hang tight okay right so i'm just you know imagining how i could have done this if i had already you know discovered this snowflake so what I'm saying is I could have purchased four of these and took the snowflake off, right? And just put them in the corners without that paint in the background and added the little red dot on each. That would have been, oh, that would have been so cute, you all. So being that I have already gotten this doormat done, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave this as is. This is very cute to me. I, I love this the way that this is. But what I might do around this time of the year next year, maybe I'll create a video, okay, where I make another one of these welcome mats and then show you all how it looks with the 
you know, four snowflakes. And so that means I would have to go ahead and purchase, I need four of these. I would have to go ahead and make the purchase this season and just save it and do the video, you know, around this time next year in 2022. All right, so I love this. This came out perfect. I am so happy, very proud of myself. Let me turn this camera back. Yes, I had a blast trying to figure all of this out. And I am so happy and satisfied with how this came out. I hope you all try my customized DIY doormat. Give everybody one more look. And as you all saw, I just put one dot of the hot glue under there and it worked. It's adhered. So, again, I hope you all tried this project. Let you all get a look at it um, every angle. Now that I've turned this camera. And again, there's the two mats adhered to each other. And here's the back of it. And like I said, if you decide to do the doormat in the way that I showed you, these two mats are the exact same size, so you don't have to worry about cutting. And this is just the bottom, so that, that's not an issue. That's fine as is. So, thanks for watching. You all have a blessed day.